Like, he could magic archer this princess, too. I'm gonna predict it. Yeah, huge prediction. That's, like, so important to do. <laughs> That's, like, I would have just lo lost the game right there. I mean, not, like, literally, but in terms of this challenge. What's up, everyone? There's a camera. It's Turkey here. Today we're going to be doing something a little different where I'm trying to get wins on my alt account without taking any damage onto my princess towers. Uh, I've been practicing and this is damn near impossible. It's so hard to do. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, um, I'm grinding my alt account right now. So in order to make it interesting, considering I'm significantly mismatched, um, I'm, I'm trying to challenge myself. So if I take any damage, the game is over and we count it as an L. The only exception being like spell damage. Like if they play a poison or a fireball, or a fireball that's not like preventable. So we're not going to count that. Um, so yeah, just trying to challenge myself. Um, make it fun, fun content. And seeing if I can even do it. I'd be surprised if I could do it more than once, to be honest. Um, but with perfect, you know, defense and perfect building placement, I, I can defend for no damage. So we're going to knight like this to pull in the Mega Knight. Uh, and that will fully defend the Mega Knight with both towers targeting it. So this is, like, game number four for me. I I've lost the first three, so I'm really hoping I can just get a dub on the board. Uh, it also depends on their deck. Like, it's so hard if they have, like, a Magic Archer or a Firecracker or something dumb like that. Like, taking a little bit of chip damage is almost inevitable. The deck I'm rocking with today is Logbait. You can go ahead and see it on the left side of the screen. Pretty... Bruh. into our next game here and um i don't know i feel like i would do a lot better with this challenge okay rage 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 it up rage it up uh if i wasn't multitasking there's been so many games where i'm like talking and and i'm i'm oh no 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 no. okay we're okay and as i'm talking like they play princess or they play something at the bridge and it takes my tower like this dude right here has dropped three spam units at the bridge so i can't rest my concentration for even one second so i apologize if my commentary is a little different than it usually is but i need to be laser focused because usually when you play bait it's like you can take some chip damage here and there and it really isn't the end of the world he doesn't have arrows so i'm going to be aggressive here but not too aggressive because i'm going to be extra defensive more than i normally am just because obviously i don't want to take any damage okay i'm going to tesla like this and then watch out for like the dark goblin or anything like that uh, that'll pull in both of the e barbs. And then I'm gonna knight down low to pull it like that. Have my log ready. I think I wanna save my log if I. Like, in, <laughs> you can't be serious. I don't know this interaction. Does this full counter it? Sweet. <laughs> so far, so good. I think I just need to always be ready for my opponent to spam something at the bridge. And so, yeah, if you wanna challenge, the, challenge yourself, like, you should try this. Just like. You don't have to record a video, but like make a mental note like, did I take any damage this game other than spell damage? And it's really fun. Uh, just be prepared to fail more than you succeed. Okay, so looks like my opponent is an absolute bot. Um, so that that is very good for me. I'm gonna princess in the back. Just playing it safe, trying to control the tempo. Um, kind of hoping that he didn't give up because then like obviously I win, but it's like, it doesn't really count, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, obviously he saw I had Rocket, so there's a chance he's like, oh, here's Rocket, like, he counters my deck. Oh, and I think he gave up. No! I mean, like, I feel like I could've won that! No! Okay, well, good game to my opponent who gave up, and, uh, yeah, whatever, we'll catch it in the next one. <laughs> Alright, into our next match against Drago4, praying that they don't have a princess. Oh my gosh, I actually just had a I saw them play something at the bridge, and I was just like, Oop, it's a princess. Okay, he drops the bandit. Magic Archer, honestly, almost as bad as a, a Firecracker, though. I think I can activate King Tower off of this if I place this perfectly. No, because the Marcher is going to die. Yeah, never mind. The next shot might have activated it. That's a tricky King Tower activation. So, at this point in the video, yet to successfully do it. Okay, I need to play the Tesla like this because that should negate the drill spawn damage. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that was actually really well defended. I'm worried about the Marcher, so I'm going to go for a Goblin Gang. I, I don't know if he had it in cycle. I think he has one card off, but... Yeah, drill notoriously difficult to defend for no damage, especially if I'm playing the Knight on the Goblin Drill. Then he can just Magic Archer the Knight. It's, like, really annoying. Like, he could Magic Archer this Princess, too. I'm going to predict it. Yeah, huge prediction. That's, like, so important to do. 
<laughs> That's like, I would have just lo lost the game right there. I mean, not like literally, but in terms of this challenge. Nice, so that's huge. I don't have anything in cycle for this. I don't think, does this work? Yeah, it does work, okay. The magic archer, and even a drill, like if they place the drill in front of your tower, you need to predict the placement in order to take no damage. And then by doing so, like I said, I'm giving him magic archer value. So we're gonna see, yeah, he does place it in the, uh, the spot. But he doesn't have Marcher and Cycle. Like I said, I'm not counting poison damage, right? Because I can't defend the poison damage. So we didn't take any damage other than the drill spawn and damage and the poison damage. So if this is the matchup that I end up winning against, I'll be pretty flabbergasted, to be completely honest. Okay, once again. Okay, Pekka comes down. Kind of no surprise. I'm going to try and predict the Marcher again. Just because I kind of have to. Okay, no, he doesn't play it. He still could have played it, like, retroactively on that, but he chose not to. And again, terrified. Okay, he played the Marcher in the back. That's actually really good instead of playing it at the bridge. Um, I'm going to give him poison value here because I'm terrified of the drill. Um, I don't need to log it, I don't think. I did need to log it. Uh... All right, into our next match, and, you know... Definitely proving to be a formidable challenge. I don't care what league you're at. Like, I mean, I'm definitely at lower, mid, ladder. And uh, still proving to be difficult. Like, think about playing an entire game for three minutes and not misplacing a single card. Like, that's pretty difficult, I would say. And this deck is, like, somewhat of a defensive deck. It definitely is. It's a control deck. So you would think I'd be able to do that. I'm going to pull in the minions here with the knight. Kind of need to, and then rocket the pump. This looking like it's possible, just like from the matchup. Like, I think if they're running a heavier deck, like like a beatdown deck, um, I think it is possible to negate. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, hopefully, he spends something on the princess. Nice, yeah, skeletons. Yeah, okay, perfect. He doesn't really have anything to protect that pump, so that pump kind of goes to waste. Not to waste. Like he still gets, I think, two elixir from it, but it cost him seven, and I spent three. So it's fine. We're fine. So, some sort of cheesy deck here. I don't know what people run down in the depths of mid-ladder, but here we are. Goes for the Giant Skeleton again. I do know that the Evil Tesla will be very helpful against the minions. I don't have Rocket and Cycle here, but I can cycle back to it. Uh, which I'm definitely going to do in case he gives me any more Rocket value. We're going to Knight like this. Make sure that E-Drag... Does not chain on to our princess tower. I don't care if it chains on to the princess, but we just can't let it touch our princess tower. We know the rules. We're going to go like this, out of the, the chain range. And uh, kind of holding my breath there. Like, no matter how perfect I thought my tower placement was, it's like, I'm just praying that it doesn't chain onto my tower. All right, this guy is playing like an absolute bot. Like, this is my game. If there is a game that I'm going to not take any damage, I really think it can be this one. So I'm going to try not to choke it. Uh, I know I took damage on the left. I'm pretty sure that was from a spell. Was it from a spell? I need to go back and watch the replay. I'm praying that that was from a spell. What does that little damage? Was it skeletons? I don't know. Anyways, uh, we're going to Tesla here. And uh, I'm going to be devastated when I watch the replay. And it was, in fact, damage that came from... I don't know. I don't even know. All right, whatever. I'm going to keep playing, um, and I don't even know what this dude's deck is. It kind of looks like he's Golem or E-Golem, but like Giant Skeleton as the tank instead of a normal tank. Was it the Tornado? It was the Tornado. Okay, it's fine. The Tornado. He Tornadoed my tower. That is a spell, so we're good. Okay, we're going to get ready here. Tempting Rocket, but like I really think I can defend it without a Rocket. I'm going to pressure while defending here. If he Tornadoes, then... Oh, no way. He messed that up. Don't touch my tower, don't touch my tower, don't touch my tower. If, I was going to say, if he tornadoed the knight back, like if he wasn't an absolute bot, uh, that could have hit my tower. I'm going to pressure here. He doesn't have like a log or anything. The pump is getting DPS down. Knight is tanking for the barrel. He can't defend it. Rocket does 492. And I think we just, that was our first perfect game of the video. <gasps> Let's go, baby! W, perfect game. Only damage on the tower was the tornado. GG's, it will catch you in the next one. Okay. <laughs> Into our next game against Reek Oliveria. Just hoping that we do not face Drill, Firecracker, 
uh, magic archer, anything like that. I'm going to be kind of aggressive here. I'm, I'm starting to get more unhinged as the video goes on in terms of my play style. I don't care. I don't care, donkey. I don't care. So anyways, I'm curious what y'all think of this season. Oh, free rocket, baby. Uh, I've been getting absolutely destroyed by Goblin Drill. It's just been doing me in. I'm happy that they, you know, nerfed Evo Skeletons. That's nice to see. I think it was long overdue. Um, and I'm excited for next season. Evo Ram Rider, it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna use my log here. Uh, there's a very good chance. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 yeah! Freeze, just the freeze, just the freeze, just the freeze. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no! Dude, what am I supposed to do about that? Like, I don't know what I could have done. And, like, that's so dumb. Well, it's not dumb, but, like, he's obviously not gonna be able to defend. You know what I mean? Like, he just spent, like, nine elixir, and I'm gonna basically take his entire tower. Heck, man! Alright, well, GG's. <laughs> an L? An L is an L, you know the rules. Hey, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm upset that this guy's gonna get a win that he doesn't deserve. Alright, GG's, catch you in the next one. Alright, into our next game here. That last start was actually very comical, but well played. You must have known that I was using, uh, I was doing the challenge. It actually makes me so angry though, like the last person that beat me like was BMing me after I gave him a free win and I'm like, why? Like, oh, pff, huge start, okay. So up against uh, a bait style deck here, that should be good. I need to keep my Goblin Gang in hand here because if he does have a barrel, that is the only thing that can counter a barrel other than a log for no damage. Princess, I would have rather she locked onto the Firecracker, to be completely honest, but that's okay. We're going to Tesla here to counter the Dark Prince as well as activate King Tower. And just from the looks of his deck, I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. I need to cycle to the Knight because that's like my best response to the Wizard. Okay, and then I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill because I don't, I, I don't want to go in for a Goblin Gang or a Goblin Barrel in case he has a Goblin Barrel that I need to... I'm so paranoid. I'm so paranoid. I don't know what the decks down here run. They're like always so weird and okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Come on, tower. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Damn. Tragedy strikes. Good game. Oh my god, we predicted his Dark Goblin. <laughs> In our next match here against LA7. And I, I knew this was going to be difficult, but I, you know, I still thought I would get, like, every, like, third or fourth one, I'm like, I'll be able to not take any damage. That's not been the case. It's been, you know, I've gone against some formidable opponents. And there are, I didn't even realize until doing this challenge how many cards... Okay, back at it again. Try not to get too discouraged, honestly. It's a lot of fun, but also really frustrating at the same time. Firecracker, definitely not one of the, the few cards that I want to see. Princess, Firecracker, Magic Archer, it's like... Those cards are inevitably going to get damaged unless you play perfectly. Knight like this will activate the King Tower. Once that shoots, I'm going to go like this. Uh, okay, I don't get the, the King Tower activated, but I'm so fine with that. Like, as long as I'm not taking damage, it's okay. My opponent's playing really weird. Uh, delivery, arrows, all in the same deck. I don't think he'll have anything good for an Ice Spirit Barrel, because he used his arrows, used his delivery, and he mini pecked at zero, so he's going to eat that entire barrel. So, huge start. I was going to say, I need to watch out for the Firecracker, so I'm going to go like this, actually. Oh, it's a shoot! Huge. Nice, okay. So, my Princess lives, and the only damage that we got on our tower so far was the arrows. He doesn't have Firecracker in hand, and this is going to mostly take their tower. So, immaculate start. Uh, I'm going to defend this with my Goblin Gang. I like to pull, pull the Valkyrie to the middle, and then go like this. And then, I think, I don't know, I, I like... I normally obviously wouldn't play that knight there, but I was worried one of the spear goblins was gonna like look at the tower. I'm gonna go like this. I think he can delivery, but he probably won't get it down in time because he's a noob. Oh, he did get it down in time. All right, respect, respect, respect. Well played. Okay, don't know what the win condition is. Hopefully, it's one of those like win conditionless decks that doesn't have like a hog rider. Two princess shots will full counter the delivery. So one, two. If it only gets one, it doesn't. I'm worried about the cracker. 
Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. The firecracker, I think, will be the main, yeah, splash on the tower. And, oh, no way! I think the... I think the firecracker actually hit the tower from there, so that's so unfortunate. Um, I think I'm just going to finish this game out. Um, just because we're so close. And I think that the only damage that we're going to take... Mm. Never mind, good game. In our next game here against Williams. And um, I definitely have a new respect for this challenge and for top players. Because I'm not going to lie, like... I really thought I'd be able to do this fairly easily. I think I was pretty delusional, to be completely honest. Perfect Tesla placement right there. Obviously, if he goes for an earthquake, we're not going to count it. I need to predict the firecracker, even if he doesn't have it, just because I don't want to instantly lose the game. Okay. Nice. So I'm going to log the Little Prince because it'll take it off the board because it's underleveled. And he used his log. Normally, I'd be really aggressive and go for an Ice Spirit, ice spirit Barrel, but I want to first and foremost be able to defend the hog if he does go in for it okay now i can afford a rocket so if he does go in for a hog i can at least rocket it i don't think he added in cycle anyways mm, well played actually i wasn't expecting him to have a nato like most hog decks don't run nato and the ones that do usually run valkyrie executioner and goblins so kind of an unorthodox deck by my guy but it is what it is uh okay we're gonna go like that okay perfect perfect Oh, actually, not perfect, because that is almost going to break through. No, okay, we're good. We only ate the log damage. Okay, so Firecracker, we will need to be on the lookout for, obviously. And then he has an Evil Knight as well, so like an Evil Knight Hog Rider push could be scary. We actually haven't seen um, the Earthquake yet. Okay, that's fine. I was I don't want to spend any more on that. I just didn't want to make sure that the Knight didn't hit my tower. So he got NATO damage. Again, that's a spell, so... We're within the parameters of our, our conditions. Hog is pretty hard to not have get damage on your tower. But if you play perfectly, you can do that. He doesn't have his login cycle or his NATO. This evil Tesla is going to go to work. And um, I believe that the firecracker won't splash. So that's fine. Yeah, we're going to try and activate our king tower here. Perfect, we do. Obviously, king tower damage doesn't count. Only uh, Princess Tower damage. Log will negate this, and I think he doesn't have Log in Cycle. Yeah, this is the push that's scary. One night up high. I don't think Firecracker will hit from here, like, even if he plays it at the bridge. Like, I know Firecracker has a crazy range, but it's not... I don't think it's that crazy. Princess here, as well as Ice Spirit. Nice. Firecracker is, like, my main enemy in this challenge. Truthfully, okay, knight like this. He goes for a log, so we're gonna go for a goblin barrel. Again, at this point, we've only taken spell damage. But I wish we would have gotten more damage on his tower than we have. Mmm, guards. That was a bad goblin gang. Okay. We have our Evo Tesla up in cycle, though. We're gonna need it because he's gonna go in right here, most likely. Yep. Evo Tesla like this. Perfect. Evo Tesla gonna take care of everything. Goes for the cracker. That's fine with me that uh I'm just gonna go like that just to make sure i don't take any cracker damage mm, he uses his log and we're fine honestly we're in like a really good spot okay a little scary i'm gonna go like this because it'll help out with the hog rider it'll help out with the little prince oh no hog rider hog rider oh no hits from the hog i need to block a firecracker okay good he didn't go for it that was just like just only because I didn't want to throw away the game on a firecracker. A minute and 20 damage of not taking any damage other than spell damage. Which is awesome. Mm, this defense is going to be tough, though. Yeah. I don't think he has an earthquake, though. Like, he hasn't played it yet. I don't know for sure, but it just feels like he would have played it by now. I'm going to log this just to be super safe. I didn't even need to. I was just, like, petrified of taking damage at this point in the challenge. Nice. I think at this point, I'm just going to try and just not misplace a Tesla, not give him Firecracker Chip, because I, 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 I just don't... I'm not going to get enough damage in time, and I think that's, like, my new win condition. I'm, what I'm saying doesn't even make sense. Okay, nice. He burns his log. That's huge. I'm going to pre-Tesla. Nice. So far, so good. Only spell damage. No misplaced Teslas for us. That's huge. 
Perfect. And again, we need to make sure that we block the firecracker. We're going to go like that. I want to log it as soon as possible. Ah! 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 Okay, good, 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 good. That tornado is fine. And I, I, I need to be able to rocket the opposite lane. Because that's the only way he breaks through because I don't have my Tesla and cycle. Actually, we can cycle back to a Tesla. And at this point, the only thing that could hit my, fi my tower is the firecracker. And we did it. Nice. We did it. Perfect game. Only damage was from the NATOs and the logs. And it was five minutes long. That's crazy. Wow. Woo! Good game to Williams. And uh, well played to us. We'll go ahead and catch you in the next one. Okay. So not a complete, not a complete failure so far. We've proven that it's possible. Um, up against Garcia. We'll see if we can do it again. I don't have log in cycle, so I need to go like this. And um, yeah. I mean, I can't do anything about that. To be honest, Goblin Barrel, we're going to count it as spell damage, and Arrows, we're going to count it as spell damage, because they are both spells. At this point, I'm lowering my parameters <laughs> of what is required for this video. Looks like he's running an unorthodox bait deck, so that, that's pretty good for us. I'll have my log ready in case he goes for, like, a Goblin Gang or something. It's always the Firecracker. Good game. <laughs> Two honestly probably our last game of the video i think i've played like 30 games and i've just been disappointed every time but i want to get one more like really badly i do it's been really fun it's been challenging i'm gonna put this at the bridge uh ice spirit in case he goes for a cracker musketeer is fine uh when we get more princess shots so it's all good okay we're gonna go for a low knight here to help out with the goblins as well as the musky goblin gang in the middle nice honestly if he's playing bridge spam that would be perfect for us because bridge spam if you play really good against it's like pretty easy to defend and not take damage uh if they're like a mid ladder bridge band player cool 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 i'll say definitely my least favorite thing about this challenge is the number of people that bm me after i give up <laughs> like i'll give up i'll rocket their tower and then they'll just start like spamming emotes like like they just made me rage quit or something it's kind of funny i guess they did make me rage quit but not in the orthodox way princess early will take care of the minions and it'll help out the help out against the musky so maybe he'll arrows it or something cool i think that full counters but like i am not taking any chances really weird wall breakers i do need to log here on the uh wall breakers that's fine with me i also need to make sure that mighty miner stays as far away from my tower as possible because i don't want the bomb ability hitting my tower okay kind of an aggressive play there but i don't have a good cycle to defend that like i don't have a a log or anything so I'm praying that that i was praying that that bandit didn't have enough hp okay i'm gonna log i don't think he has like small spells i really think this is one of the best decks i could have asked to play against for this challenge so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna blow it i'm telling you right now no firecracker no magic archer no goblin barrel no something nothing like that we're gucci hopefully he doesn't mighty miner okay he goes for mega knight that's still not ideal nice that tesla was really good though i just wanted to uh dps that down that zap was god awful so what we're going to do is we're going to do split lane pressure because that knight is surviving and then we're going to go for a princess and I think we just win the game right here because he was really aggressive. Let's go, baby! Let's go! He, I mean, he was going to lose that anyway. Like, I, I feel like he gave up after that Mega Knight. But once we cooked the Musketeer and then he zapped, like, he had, like, no elixir. Finally, we got a good matchup. Let's go, baby. Perfect game. No spell damage even on the towers. Let's go. Against Humble Owl. Just one more game. Just one more game. One more game. I think I can do it. We've had three successes so far in the video. I want to make it four. But we've been recording for over an hour now. Usually, usually when I record, it takes like... Like 45 minutes. Not that it matters. It just... It's fine. All right. So, Tornado here. Oh, I don't think I can prevent all damage against uh without my tesla and cycle yeah yeah okay all right we're gonna th th we're gonna wrap write this one off as an l but because this guy is bming we're gonna try as hard as we can to absolutely crush this guy for the last game of the video that's it that's all that's all we're gonna do nothing more nothing less okay this is gonna take care of the mortar and then we can get king tower activated against the firecracker actually no we can't oh 
Yeah, we can. Alright. We won't we won't tolerate the BM here. Absolutely not. We're gonna try our hardest. In all other videos I would have given up. Or in all other games I would have given up. This is all of the, the pent up frustration that I have from this challenge. Okay. Don't have uh, my Tesla and Cycle again, so we're just gonna eat a little bit of damage. Princess and Knight gonna do like a decent job at defending. Cool, 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 could shoot. We know he has a NATO. Um, I don't know if he has a log. Yeah, he doesn't. He's actually gonna do a pretty decent job defending it. We're gonna have log ready for now. Not, not for that. Yeah, whatever. Split up, split. Perfect. And then I'll log like this. And no wizard damage. Beautiful. We do have our Tesla in hand. Uh, I'm going to go with an evil knight. I think he's... I mean, he's playing the mortar, so that way I have to play the Tesla. Princess here to DPS that down. And then Ice Spirit to tank for the mortar once the knight walks out of the mortar's range. See, look. You can see it locked onto the Ice Spirit. This uh, wizard, I think, is going to get DPS down by the knight. Oh, no. He goes for the mini Pekka. Pretty, pretty good there. Like I told you, at this point, it's all pride right now. We're going to get a King Tower activation, and then we're going to go for the Knight here. Perfect. We know that he does not have Log. Nice. He has a really bad cycle to defend that. We're just going to go for the Tezzy. Perfect. Mm. Nice. Get taken care of. I'm not too worried about the Wizard, to be completely honest. We're going to go like that, and then like this. I don't think he has, like, a big spell. We haven't seen one. I don't have any reason to believe... That he would have a big spell. So that's going to be counter push in one lane. Then we're going to go with uh, Goblin Barrel Princess in the other lane. And he just like played his hogs into us. Which was weird. Nice. Huge plays. Easy peasy. We're going to go like this. Doesn't have a log in cycle. So Firecracker is going to do an okay job. But hopefully the Evil Knight starts tanking. It does. And that's going to put it into rocket range. So we're going to go ahead and hit him with the nervous emote. The nail bite emo. Wasn't a perfect game, but uh, we just had to do it to him. You know how it goes. That's going to do it for today's video. Here's the deck one more time in case you want to give it a try. I hope you enjoyed the content. It was really humbling for me and really, really difficult. I uh, was only able to get three perfect games after recording for an hour and a half. So much respect to these mid-ladder players. Um, and thank you so much for watching. And please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in another video real soon.